Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. My mic sounds nice. Can't pass comments. Test, test, test. You hear me? All right, so it's the first run. Uh, so, still a little bit of setup, but I think we should be good. Uh, appreciate y'all. This is the starting block for the power block, baby. Reggie Williams, your encompass rep. So, still doing a little setup. Wait for a few folks to get in here, man, and we'll get things started. Uh, appreciate everyone that's here now. Man, we hitting a block strong. See y'all. What up? What up? I see a lot of my customers in here. BK from the Rockies. Lifelong. What's up, man? <laughs> Ride or die right there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so right now I could just see comments on YouTube. Uh, so... On other platforms, I apologize. Uh, feel free to leave comments, and I will definitely answer any questions uh, after the broadcast on other platforms. Um, but right now, because this is my uh, startup, I cannot see anything else yet. But we're going to get going. All right, so uh, I got 30 minutes, so we got, we're going to pack this in. Uh, this is Reggie, your Encompass Rep. Boom. It's the water. I know it's happy hour, man. It's water, though. It's water. Uh, I'm going to take the glasses off. Let me see if I can see. Yep. Because I got that glare. Um, yeah, it's the Power Block. Welcome to the Power Block. I am Reggie Williams, your Encompass Rep. Uh, so I'm going to start off. Got some notes. <laughs> um Give a kind of an overview where I'm going for the next 30 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna give away some free stuff. So y'all hang, y'all hang in there, stick tight. Uh, some stuff gonna be free. Uh, it's gonna be a point where I'm gonna look at the comment section and read some comments, answer some questions. Uh, if your comment doesn't get answered, don't worry. I'm gonna I'll, after the broadcast, I'll check it out and respond. Um, I'm gonna give away some stuff. I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview of who I am because uh, I'm sure some of you are like, who is this guy? Uh, so I'm going to tell you who this guy is. Uh, and then we're going to get into the subject of leveraging your supplier. So I am, uh, well, I'll, I'll get to that the other one. Uh, I'm going over a little news, and then I'm going to go over some parts. So I'm, I got some parts here, um, commonly uh, used parts uh, that you should keep on your truck. And since I work for a part supplier, I've got data. So I've got a list of, uh, from every manufacturer, the most ordered parts. And so on my broadcast, I'm going to go through and uh, share with you the most ordered parts, right? So, and this is my actual lines room. You see the, the junk on top of the machine, <laughs> machines. Uh, that's, so you want to wonder what the, what does a uh, technician and a parts guy have in his lines room? Electrolux. So let me let me show these off real quick. This is I'm going to side note. So left, this is like I call this the Bentley of washers and dryers. Look at this, no handles, just press. Oh. <laughs> See, that's the type of uh, wash and dryer set uh, a, 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 a texture have. This fancy. And this button, like, it, it goes in and out, all digital. Dope. And then the drum reverse. So it goes one way and it reverses. So anyway, show not about that. <laughs> um, so let's get into uh, – actually, let's give something away. Let's start this show off with giving something away. So what I'm, gonna give, what I'm giving away today – is something every technician needs. Number one, an Encompass account, right? Because that doesn't cost you nothing. So an Encompass account. Uh, my email is rewilliams at encompass.com. Uh, and so if you need an account, you've got questions, feel free to email me. And in the description of this video, you will see our, our, my other power uh, block members. Uh, SSG Appliance Academy, uh, Mona, Mona Sims, uh, and we have Mike Sneed running Anchor uh, with Appliance Bootcamp. And so after my show, 
you hit Mona, Mona Sims, and then you hit Mike Sneed. So the description is in uh, the, the link is in the description. So go there at 7:30. So this is what I'm giving away: a magnet. Now you drop your part, you drop that screw, especially if you're working on a, a, a whirlpool dryer and you're changing that wire out, and that screw drops down. You know, it's like boom, your magnet. And guess what? I don't know if this comes up. Uh, boom, flashlight too. So I'm giving this away, and I'm gonna give this away to. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna give this away to 63 Impala, rad dude. In the comments, rag dude, 63 Impala, email me and I, I'll email me your address and I'm going to mail this to you. you. You're the winner. Uh, I've got two more I'm going to give away during the show. So email you, email me your address, R.E. Williams and Encompass. Actually, I'm, I think I'm, I can put it on here. I'm going to put it in here. Hang on. It's the first run. First run. Oh, okay. There we go. Boom. All right. So giveaway's done. That's my email address. I just put it in. Uh, send me your address. You are the winner, 63 Impala. So we're going to do, so we're getting ready for free marks. Let me tell you my story. So uh, I'm not going too far back. Let's go to the appliance, keep the appliance business related, keep it short. Uh, so I was a appliance, uh, I was a tech and I flipped washers and dryers. So if any, a lot of you guys that looked at my channel know uh, me from uh, being the, the, the flipper, the washer dryer repair nerd. Um, and so uh, I, my YouTube channel came from when I started, I kind of just figured it out. It means like two people I could follow on YouTube that I would get advice from, but I had no mentor, nobody to talk to, nobody to, uh, let's see the logo, boom. <laughs> uh, nobody to talk to and nobody to get advice from. So I kind of just figured it out. I started off in a one bedroom apartment, me and my wife and uh, tearing apart a GE washer, probably one of the hardest things to learn off uh, out, the, out the gate. And so took about that washer and just learned. And so from there, I just always wanted to share. Uh, I always said, I'm the type of person, if I know what a fountain of youth is, I'm printing out maps and giving it to everybody and say, hey, this is where it's at. Um, so that's what I did. Uh, what's up, everybody in the comment section? I see you. Uh, so that's what I did. And uh, so did that for 10 years, flipping washers and dryers. Uh, had a little storefront inside of an antique store that, that kept my overhead low because most of my machines were, were sold online. Uh, so I didn't have a lot of walk-in business. It made no sense for me to have a storefront. So, But that was a way of having an address for business purposes. Uh, and every, once in a while, I'll get the walk-in guide or somebody I want to go see. So anyway, <clears throat> fast forward, how in the, did you get to be an Encompass rep? Uh, had somebody say, oh, <laughs> somebody told me, uh, oh, it must ain't work out. You went for Encompass. No, this was actually, this was like equivalent to a, uh, a company buying another one and improving it. You know, uh, case in point, Partstown purchased Encompass. Encompass was not distressed property. Uh, it was a good deal and it was a good partnership. Uh, so that's when, how my employment started with Encompass. Uh, I was a, a, a tech. I used Encompass. And it was the best kept secret because I was like, I found Encompass because they had a part I couldn't find nowhere else. And so it was kind of dope to uh, the, the fact that, you know, the work for them. And then I have a sales background. And I was like, this is a perfect marriage. And I can reach so many more people in the appliance community. So I'm more. So now my status is elevated. Because now I'm going around and I talk to 30 uh, part servicers a week. Um, so my knowledge is like, psh, I've seen everyone's process, how everybody shop. So I'm somebody you want to know, right? Because uh, I am a, definitely a wealth of knowledge that I've seen so much. Um, so, yeah, that's 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 uh, that's kind of the gist of the story. And uh, the rest is being written, right? Um, I know a lot of you guys were at... Uh, our open house on Saturday, that was phenomenal. Uh, and, you know, it, how that started was it was supposed to be, to be a regular open house. And excuse me, get a drink. And when that, uh, you know, when I'm involved, you know, I go big or go home. So we went big and, and the plants community came out. Everything was free. Training was free. Food was free. Uh, and so it, it's, it's kind of a way of Encompass showing you Hey, 
we got your back. We're, we're, we're invested in your business. And uh, at the end of the day, let's have one hand wash the other, right? Um, if you invest in businesses that invest in you, right? Just like if you go to that restaurant and fix their equipment, fix their washer, they have a washer in the back, they wash the towels or whatever, uh, you should dine there, right? Because they did business with you. Same thing with the Compass. Uh, so you can reach me, R.E. Williams at Encompass.com to start a wholesale account. Uh, so let's talk about that a little bit, right? Uh, leveraging your wholesaler. And let's talk about why uh, leveraging your wholesaler, le leveraging your part supplier and why you should uh, have a wholesale account. Well, number one, you get your parts cheaper. Right. And with Encompass, now, now I know we have a competitor that kind of takes a blood sample and have a minimum for you to order and all that to keep your account. We don't do you like that. Uh, we uh, basically just fill out an application. And if you service, you're a servicer, only qualification is a servicer. <laughs> you got a business name and asking for an LLC, tax ID, and all. If you have it, that's great. Uh, but just be a servicer, uh, just, just, just be a technician. And you get a wholesale account. You get your parts at a wholesale price. Um, now, different ways. So, again, like I said, I'm in the field. How can you leverage your relationship? So let's talk about leveraging relationship with Encompass and how some of my suppliers leverage their relationship. Uh, so a lot of the suppliers would, uh, excuse me, excuse me, misspeaking. <laughs> I did a lot of three thoughts ahead. Um, how are customers leverage us. So one thing is having a relationship with Encompass. You hear about things such as the open house where we had free training. We gave you uh, free sales systems training. I mean, now they were samples. They were hour long. Obviously, you can't do sales systems in an hour, but you got the gist, right? Uh, and also, it'll help you uh, understand, hmm, do I want to go further with that, right? So before you go through and pay, for a complete education, it was kind of a sample. Like, is this something that I want to do? Uh, so he was able to do that, right? Through Encompass. Um, tech sheets, music to your ears. Tech sheets. We've got probably got the deepest, biggest library of tech sheets. Uh, so you want to do that. You want to leverage your relationship with Encompass by using our vast library of tech sheets. Uh, and that's your right hand man that helps you so we got a lot of other relationships we're working on uh, a lot of stuff i can't say right now but stay tuned to the, to, my, to, to the show um so leverage your supplier so let me give you an example when i was a tech i leveraged my credit card processor my credit card processor offered a free website to account holders that is huge because a, a website about what 60 to 100 dollars a month and you know if you get a basic and so they gave me a free website and so i i didn't even think about any other uh processors so um again leveraging relationship um is key so oh i got an email <laughs> gotcha 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 so uh, my email just popped up. Uh, so again, leverage your relationship. So a lot of times, those who you spend money with will have things, uh, a la carte items at no charge uh, just to take care of their customers, things you would normally have to pay for. Um, uh, shipping, uh, leverage shipping. So 1095 flat rate, how do you leverage that? Well, I know a lot of you are big fans of picking up your parts. You should be too busy to do that. <laughs> uh, but 1095 flat rate shipping. And a lot of times you're getting your, and most customers get their parts the next day. If you're a little further away, uh, state wise, you're like two or three states away, it may take two to three days, depending on where you're at. Uh, still for 1095, uh, that's a great deal. And leverage that. So you leverage that by filling your cart. Right. So if you at the time, oh, I got to get going. <laughs> so if you uh, a lot of my customers, what they'll do is sometimes they'll order every day or they'll order every other day their parts. And so you load, load them up in your shopping cart, hit send and you do it before 3 p.m. Eastern time. You're getting your parts the next day. 
uh, if you're in a surrounding state of one of our warehouses, uh, or two to three days, depending on where you're at. So worst case scenario, three days if you, you know, if you're further out. Uh, so now let's give a, let's do another giveaway. Let's do another giveaway, and I'm gonna get into some some parts. All right. Uh, again, don't forget this is the power block, right? So we're gonna uh, listen to Mona Sims after me. SSG Appliance Academy uh, about education, right? The more you learn, the more you earn. So I'm going to give away another magnet. I'm going to give away another magnet. I'm looking in the comments, looking in the comments. I'm going to scroll randomly. Uh, boom. Ideal Appliance Repair. Ideal Appliance Repair. You get a magnet. Uh, email me your address and I'll get it out to you. Uh, R E Williams at encompass.com. Uh, I'm going to retype that again. Uh, so in the conference, we've got a lot of stuff going on too. We have uh, virtual learn virtual uh, live virtual classes. Uh, we got three this month. So uh, go to my Facebook group. And I'll put the link in there for you. So the Facebook group is Appliance uh, Repair Community, supported by Encompass. All right, so what is this? Does this look familiar to some of y'all? All right, so this is a VMW washer water valve. Uh, I pulled this out of my truck, man. Got it out the archives. You know, my two, my, all my parts are stuff collecting dust because I, I, I'm kind of out of the game. So, well, I'm out of the game. <laughs> uh, so... Now this one, you see it has an arch, right? So this one's different. So I'm not gonna give you a part number because I want you to go look at your model number and get your part number from there. You should never blindly go straight to a part number. Get off your model number that you're using. Uh, these usually go bad. And when these go bad, uh, especially the straight ones, uh, these are usually in Whirlpool washers. I think there's some Kenmore out there like this too. And this water valve goes bad because it'll start dripping. So your customer usually say, we'll wash clothes and there's water still in the tub. Uh, we'll verify that there's not a pump issue. But, you know, if obviously you ask, hey, is the tub empty when you take the clothes out? And they say yes. So then you go ahead and you uh, say, say it's, you see this dripping or you see those watermarks all in the, the tub. This needs to be replaced. Right. So you want to replace that because a drip is a good thing. Uh, I know... The old Maytag Neptunes, when that valve went bad, it was flood, it flooded. The house is flooded. It's gonna flood the house. All right. So next part, we're gonna do. All right, we got we got eleven minutes. So next part, this looks familiar. So I'm a uh, next giveaway. Tell me what washer this go, what brand this goes to. Whoever tells me the next brand gets this. What brand does this go to? This is a washer. Boom. EJ. EJ gets a magnet. Send me your address. Well, I got your address, man. I got you. <laughs> You're getting this. This is a GE agitator coupler. So when these go bad, there's a little teeth in there. That agitator is not moving. That agitator is this loose and free. Uh, you might hear a grinding noise. Uh, sometimes that agitator is just loose in there. This particular GE agitator pops right off, right? It, 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 it's on there, but it comes off. Uh, but beware, and this is something I learned from Tim Burdick's virtual class at Encompass, the newer ones actually have a piece, uh, a button you got to press inside the agitator or has a strap tool that takes the agitator off. So if you got a customer house and you're on a newer GE, don't use that method because you will break that agitator. Uh, old school GEs, uh, this coupler, you take the agitator off, and this is right underneath waiting on you. So that's GE coupler. Uh, another part, truck stock, another part you should keep on your truck. So simple. What's this, y'all? So simple. Legs. When you go to, and these are... Almost universal, man. I have, to say, I have to even use that word, but <laughs> you should keep feet on. This is an easy upgrade. This is an easy upsell to your customer. 
uh, these little feet, man, you go in there and you touch that dryer and it, it rocks and wobbles. Uh, or, I mean, obviously you can adjust some feet, but some of it is so stripped. A lot of these things will be stripped out. Or you see that thing is flat on the ground. Now that's bad for the dryer. Now let me teach you some game. Uh, if you get, you go to a dryer, it doesn't have legs on it. Uh, underneath dryers, you'll see holes, and that that needs that's required for airflow. That helps keep the motor cool. Helps keep you know this helps with airflow underneath the dryer. Uh, so you want to have legs on your dryer. Uh, these are pretty inexpensive, so you want to go ahead. Uh, you welcome, ideal. I got the email. Uh, you want to you want to do that. So we're gonna get the Q and A because we we winded down here. It's thirty minutes and went fast. Let me check my notes. Okay. Oh, I did have some piece of news I want to share. GE. Oh, excuse me. I'm talking about GEs. <laughs> Whirlpool. So, uh, I do uh, in, I do trade the stock market, and so uh, in contrast, Whirlpool. Uh, this I use them as an indicator as far as how the market is going. When it comes to repairs, so when Purple releases like quarterly earnings or they release any type of news. So recently they came out with an article saying uh, sales have slowed, right? So if sales slowed at Whirlpool, what does that mean for us? What does, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for us? Parts, uh, repairs are going to go up because if people aren't buying new machines, right? They're going to repair their old ones. Because no, end of the day, the market is still a need. There's still a need. There's still a need. Uh, so that's good news for us. So keep an eye on that. Uh, so let me go to the comments here. Uh, this is a time to fire away any questions. If you're on YouTube, I apologize on the other platforms. Uh, this is the first run. So I'll get to figuring out how to look at the other platforms at the same time. Uh, shout out to uh, Plants Professionals, BK from the Rockies, Ideal. What's up? Hewing, how you doing? SSG in the hills. BK, Kurtz, what up, Kurtz? Greg B. What's up, man? So, so a lot of you guys, a lot of y'all at uh on Saturday. Uh DJ, hey, hey, yeah, DJ was at uh she's one of the volunteers on from Saturday. 63 Impala with the win for the win. Uh Saga Phonics. I, I might have said that wrong. Uh TK Cousins in the house. What up? You got the old school direct drive. Yeah, those old, so funny, those old school direct drives, when customers be like, uh, should I get rid of this? I'm like, no, you should have fixed that thing. Uh, if it break 100 times, fix it 100 times. <laughs> those things are well, well worth keeping, the direct drives, man, because you know it's, it's all mechanical, you know what I mean? Uh, SQ, and oh, we got a guest, we got a guest in the house. All right, hang on, let me see if I can get her on. This is my first. Let's see. I got this little picture that says do something. If I guess the layout is unique, hey, that's a tip. Here we go. Moni in the middle, shutting down them comments. Hang on. <laughs> Could you hear I me? I have no sound. I don't know if it's me or you. All right. I'm kind of flying the, flying the plane as I build it here. Could you hear me or no? Uh, you can hear me. I, I can hear you. You can. I you or me. Anyway, we got Mona Sims up next. Uh, you can't hear me. All right. So yeah, we got some technical difficulties, but Mona gonna be up next. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna drop you in uh, in about three minutes, and we do we do a segue to Mona. Uh, so anyway, who else we got on here? We got TK. What's up? SQ Services. Hey, hey, welcome to the Encompass family, by the way. Newest uh newest member. Plans boot camp. What up, what up? Mike Sneed in the house. So uh appreciate you, Mike, for uh allowing us to the caboose on your, your platform here, man. Uh the power block, baby. We in the house. So we have idea. Hey, hey. Terry Electrician, man, it was great meeting you on, on Saturday. Uh, yeah, crew. So when you go to the Encompass site, right? So let's say something about the tech sheets. It is like finding buried treasure to scroll down and see all the different links and stuff at the bottom, right? Uh, 
at the bottom of the Encompass website. Encompass.com is our website. Uh, and also you got, let me see, Greg B, what up, what up? Uh, uh, EJ said he got a, a Kimmer 80 series, another tank. Now, those are great flips. The Kimmer 80 series, they look good. They clean up well, especially after you paint them. Uh, the Kimmer 80 series is nice. Uh, yeah, hit the like button. Thanks for the reminder on that. SQ, everybody, y'all hit the like button, man. Let's let's keep the block going. Uh, Antonio Ramy, what's up? Uh, are we having problems getting parts from China? Uh, no, we don't get parts from China, dear buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, and come, all our parts are OEM, so all our parts come from the manufacturers. Uh, so yeah, we we only buy from the manufacturers. We let other people do the other stuff. Um, so that's the story on that. Uh, I got a question: How many income reps? Uh, <laughs> if there's a compass rep dra- a draft, I'll be the first round pick. Appreciate you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's quite a few of us, man. Uh, we got TK. Um, so yeah, we uh, I don't know how having issues with getting Mona sound going, but uh, we got two minutes left. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask any questions. Again, <laughs> again, uh, I am Reggie your Encompass rep. Uh, take advantage of our inventory. Encompass has the largest in-stock inventory in the country. I promise you, ask your peers. Uh, if you can't find something, we have unique parts. We have a very diverse uh, part supply. Uh, and we're also the most certified, key certified supplier in the country. What does that mean? That means if you do warranty repairs, right? If you do warranty repair, my eyes are get <laughs> if you do warranty repairs, uh, we are certified with your repair, with the, uh, SQ say need a mug. Uh, you are certified. Uh, we are certified to do, to, to give you, uh, parts through your warranty company. Um, also, uh, the key that, that 1095, that's one of the lowest around. Uh, so we're going to help lower your cost of doing business. And the most important thing about using Encompass, I'm your rep. And as I always say, lean on your rep. So if you have an Encompass account already and you you got some sort of gripe, email me. We'll get it worked out. Uh, R-E-Williams at Encompass.com. If you do not have a wholesale account or you are looking to have a relationship with Encompass, R.E. Williams, and Encompass.com. Uh, also, again, I, I, I'm a tech, uh, so don't forget to look at my channel if you are new to the game. And my channel basically tells this tips and tricks. So um, I, I just little little hacks that I found here and there I list on my channel. Uh, feel free to, to contact me, R.E. Williams, at Encompass.com. So we're going to pass the baton to SSG. And I'm about to add her. We're supposed to have some, some, uh, it's not working. Okay. <laughs> glitch, 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 Murphy's Law. So anyway, I'm a log, I'm going to sign off. Look in the description, click on SSG Appliance Academy's link. Uh, she's going to take over the next 30 minutes. After that, Mike, you get an hour of your boy, Mike Sneed. Uh, again, this is our first run. I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope it was informative to you. Uh, congratulations to our prize winners. And I'll see you on Monday at 7 p.m.